My name's Colin and behind me is my largest sawmilling job yet. So if you're new to the channel, welcome. And if you don't mind, hit that thumbs up button. It helps me and it's free for you. Anyways, uh, I don't typically advertise uh, my sawmilling services. I mostly just do it for myself, but I'd forgotten that I'd put my name on a list of local sawmills in the Houston area. And a gentleman called me out of the blue and asked if I could help him out. And I said, sure. So um, this is me kind of working my way through a somewhat large order. Um, not something I typically do again, but hey, you know, there's a, there's a dollar to be made. I'm going to try and make it. Uh, secondly, this is another video of firsts. Um, I don't uh, typically record on anything other than my iPhone. And a while back, I got a, a GoPro type camera. Um, for as a gift and that requires editing software as well. So this is me kind of fumbling my way through editing videos on software as opposed to just the iPhone. So um, bear with me, it'll get better, I hope. And hopefully we can start making things we enjoy together. So thanks for watching and um, enjoy the video. Now, as for the sawmill itself, this is a home-built creation of sorts. The saw frame, um, basically everything that the wheels are spinning on, is a kit from Lynn Lumber. Um, it comes in pieces, and you have to drill the holes and tap the holes and weld everything and so on and so forth. But it does have all the bearings and pulleys and uh, wheels and whatnot. Um, and it was, uh, it was fun to build it. Uh, the carriage itself and the bed is something that I came up with. Um, and recently I've actually cut everything apart. This is version two of the sawmill you see here. Uh, when I first bought it, it had about 23 inches between the rollers and almost immediately I figured out that uh, it was cool, but um, it was frustrating trying to get, you know, anything with any kind of bends or knots or anything on it. So we quickly um, realized it was time to widen it and it took me about three years to get there, but um, I finally got it. So there's a, another video out there on my channel of that whole process, if you care to go see that. But um, as far as the sawmill itself, it cuts very well. I'm very pleased with it. Um, I Ever since I've, I've remade everything in the last couple of months, I haven't really found anything else yet that is in dire need of fixing. So. Uh, so far, so good, and I'm looking forward to many more years of successful lumber cutting with it. Nice looking at it.
Alrighty, if you're still watching, I've uh, done a little bit of cutting since last night. Um, cut one log out today at lunch, and then I got another one loaded up on the mill. So we are going to continue on with our milling.
All right, here we go. This is some uh, pretty nice red oak lumber. You'll have to forgive me for not pulling a Cremona and washing it off, but it's hot, I'm tired, and uh, everything is sticking together right now, so more water is not the answer. So now we're gonna go stack it up over there. All right, <clears throat> the wood's all stacked. I've got uh, 28 eight quarter pieces of red oak there, and then all of my second cuts on top. Um, so now we are on our last red oak log. sawmill update so all this right here 28 eight quarter pieces of red oak all this up here is second cuts all this right here is a cut on my face from my whoopsie yesterday and finally got 10 more eight quarter pieces of red oak over there so all we got left is these two little post oak logs here and then it's payday peace out it's friday lunchtime, and i'm going to fire up the mill and finish this project. Let's go. Well, one more vote for electric start. <laughs> 